vlog today, and today is something completely different. We are in Orlando uh, for the Supercross, I think it's round eight. Uh, it's the second round that's in Orlando. Uh, they don't really normally have races. I don't think they've had a race since like 2007 here. So we're here for, um, it's Saturday, February 20th, and I'm actually headed over to Race Day Live now. I'm gonna do a live interview um, with Daniel Blair and Dan Hubbard on race day live and then i'm going we're gonna go to fan fest for a little bit and then we're gonna go um back and i'm going to do part of the live events uh for the jumbotron right before the opening ceremony so i'm very excited i get to do some mrs universe uh appearances and uh, we were already planning on coming to supercross anyway so it's just really exciting to just kind of incorporate you know our family time with um, some appearances so uh, join us and I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film in the stadium because or at the interviews because it's um, pretty closed off I'll try and get as much as I can uh, at least we'll get some pictures We're really uh, my husband's really hoping to meet Ricky Carmichael who is the on hair on air um, host and he is the goat for Supercross if you don't know uh, but uh, come join us and uh, enjoy the day It's coming. You never know. They might be able to get it done. Um, how often do you have a Mrs. Universe? Never. Never. But uh, we do here on Race Day Live. It's Shannon Ford. Welcome to Race Day Live. Hi. How are we doing? Good. I'm doing great. How was the uh, the ride up here? Because I know it was a little bit of a challenge over the last 30 minutes or so. Yes, they had us uh, circling around the stadium, So, uh, but we got her. I got her. <laughs> All right. Well, glad to have you on. Uh, Daniel Blair, Dan Hubbard, we want to welcome you to the show. And you've been a fan of Supercross for a long time now, but my question to you is... Uh, Fantasy's coming up for us, so we need the help. Um, who's your favorite? I, who, who do you think could win tonight, and who's your favorite in this field? I got to go with Ken Roxon. I actually bet against him last week because I didn't think he could go four in a row, and I did pick Cooper Webb. Wow. I, I did put Ken a second, so that paid off for me my fantasy, but I can't bet against him twice in a row. I think you got to meet him before, actually. I saw on your Instagram you had to hang out with him yes. and meet him and talk to him and a bunch of the other pros, but it looked like a cool picture with you and Ken. Anaheim 2, 2019. Yeah, that's excellent. And I think your son, Ryder, this is his first ever Supercross. This is his I know first you, race. You and your husband have been watching for years, but this is Ryder's first race? Yes, he's five years old, so we, we left him with a sitter at Anaheim. But, uh, yes, this is his first race, and he is very, very excited. Where did your fandom of supercross begin again it's been for a few years now mm -hmm. you've been into it where did it all start for you oh well my husband <laughs> so you know he got me into it and i would say that the best thing he did for me was teach me about supercross he didn't just have me watch he explained what a whole shot was what the whoops were he explained all of it to me so what i was watching i understood what i was watching and then you know you get to know the the riders and you get to you know and then also it's such a family event. You get to know their families, and you see them come on. And I love watching Ken and Courtney and little Griffin. I mean, I'm more excited to maybe have a Griffin sign today. So um, it's such a, sp a family sport, and I, I absolutely love it. But it was my husband, and I would say for any husbands that want to get their wives into it, teach them about the sport. Not just sit down and watch again, exactly. kind of go through it. But then you talk about the storylines. And again, I'm, I'm wondering how many people would rather have Griffin's uh, autograph, which... <laughs> He's a cutie. Yeah, He's I know. a cutie. But instead of Ken's, they're like, hey, Ken, nice to meet you, but uh, where's the baby at? Um, and I have to imagine that it was that way for you. Again, that family side of things is what makes us so fun. And, you know, we had Seth Dennis on, a little up-and-coming kid. And sometimes we get so caught up in the race that we forget about the kids that are watching and that they're, they're creating their own memories and they're becoming fans just like you. That's a big part of it. Absolutely. And I think one of the things I remember is I remember meeting uh, Ken and Chad Reed two years ago. They don't remember me, but that's something I'll never forget. Well, and that's something you can pass on. I know you have your own vlog and you've been on yep. TV before. And, and I'd imagine you can take your knowledge now and pass that on to to families and moms and, and, and dads and, and maybe kids who aren't used to this or don't know much about the sport. I'd imagine you would be able to share that passion as well. Absolutely. So I've been posting about this today and that we're here. And, uh, you know, hopefully it'll bring more people to watch the sport. And it's a nice day today, too. This Thank is, goodness. This is good. It's my actually a little visit, chilly. My last visit to an outdoor stadium did not go well. Uh -oh. That was at Daytona 2012. So. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I was there. But she's used to this not a she's good one. born and raised in Florida. She's yes. used to the weather. So. Well, thank you for bringing the good weather to this one. It's going to be a lot of fun. I try. And uh, thanks again for coming on Race Day Live. Have an awesome night with the family. Thank and, you. And, um, yeah, maybe Ken Roxon gets it done again. Yep, thank you. Thank you, Shannon. We are. Well, I actually bet against him last week because I didn't think he could go four in a row, and I did pick Cooper Webb. 
I, I did put Ken in second, so that paid off for me in my fantasy, but I can't bet against him twice in a row. All right, let's hold it steady for one. Hold it, hold it really still. Uh -huh. Super still, super still. All right, you're like looking at me, all right? Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Put this in here. <laughs> right, turn around. You're right, are you gonna do it towards the camera? Play with it, though. Yeah, you gotta play with it. He's just recording you, buddy. <laughs> What it typically is um, pretty empty you know you don't have the riders doing autographs um, there's some booths and stuff they're giving out some gig free freebies you got monster energy of course but um, not what it usually is but at least it's something and it's nice and it's a gorgeous gorgeous day <laughs> drop us off too close so we had to walk um, actually our car is actually closer than where we were able to get dropped off but uh, we're headed back I'm going back meeting them at 620 it's 555 now so at least this time I'm not late and gonna do the uh, live on air events for the actual stadium so we're in the stadium 603 uh, meeting the PR person Sean at 620 so I'm early, so I'm excited. Uh, earlier was a bit of chaotic. The stadium kind of kept giving us a run around, but we got in and I got on the air. But uh, it's going much easier right now. How to keep a five-year-old entertained. Let him spin. So we're in the waiting area, so you can see all the equipment. And right there. Behind these walls is Ricky Carmichael. I'm getting ready for NBC Sports, and then I'm in the next one, which is the Race Day Live studio, where they'll be broadcasting to the stadium. So our seats are right over there somewhere. We don't know, like right around there. And then, as you can see, the microphones and. It's exciting. We love. We we went to a race two years ago in Ham Anaheim too. Last year's race was was obviously canceled. So it's just great to be back at a Supercross race, even with social distancing. So cute today. So cute. His riders' first race. Um, Look at your mom, buddy.
morning. Obviously, it is the day after um, Supercross, and it was awesome. We had a great time, but I mean, we were tired. It was freezing. It got really cold, freezing for us. So it was like, I think I got to like 48, um, and it was just really windy, so we were not prepared for that weather. Um, so, you know, great. Camping World Stadium was actually a really great stadium. Um, getting in and out was a little bit more difficult than we have. We're used to the Hard Rock Stadium in South Florida. Um, so getting in and out of the stadium was a little bit more difficult, but the stadium inside, the actual the food was actually pretty good. Um, it was a fantastic day. Um, if you're thinking about going to any of the Supercross races and concerned about the social distancing, I thought it was fantastic. It was actually really nice because there was nobody directly in front of us. We had we were able to see a lot. It was just fantastic. Like I said, the cold weather, but that has nothing to do with Supercross. It was great. So if you're thinking about going to a race, absolutely go. Um, I'm going to post a uh, link below. I'll put a card right here from our VIP experience from two years ago. So hopefully the VIP experiences will be back um, next year. If you have an opportunity to do one of the VIP experiences, absolutely, we're hoping to, to hopefully do them next year. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.